Welcome back to another episode of Untamed Outdoorsman. Today we are back on the Ascend 133X build series to bring you a smaller video. Um, and today we're going to be doing the Yak Power Lightning Rod. So this is something that I really don't see a whole lot of content on across YouTube and across the internet in general um, of people installing these. But this is essentially a yellow safety flag that goes on the back of your boat. Depending on the state that you live in, um, when you put a trolling motor on your kayak, you may need red and green marker lights. But on top of that, some states even require a safety flag with a light on it um, for the stern area of your kayak. But that, that'll vary on state by state. But for my particular state, I need that. So this is gonna really help me out with that. So this is the Yak Power Lightning Rod. And this is apparently the new and improved version. I'm not 100% sure what the difference is, but just eyeballing it, I think this gives you track hardware to put onto the tracks of my kayak. And it gives you, I believe, better waterproofing. So, so a few more gaskets and then things like that. So really not too, too hard to install here. Uh, let me get it out of the box for you. It's a little bit of an unboxing. Okay, so this is the lightning rod. So one of the big cool features about this is you can adjust the height of it. So we can go all the way from the bottom. So it'll be right here, go up to there, there, and all the way to the top, roughly. Um, this actually comes with the built-in accessory camera mount. So that'll be pretty cool. And comes with a bunch of different hardware to fit on tracks, to fit on, you can drill it into the kayak if you would like. Um, and then it obviously comes with your flag and the light. So this thing is gonna be really cool. So it's got new and improved threaded power connection. So that's probably one of the new things that comes with this new model. Um, I don't think you can even get the old model from the power anymore. Uh, so this is, this is gonna be a really fun install. It should be pretty easy now that you don't have to install it into the hull. Um, so we'll get started on that. Okay guys, so now that we're in the tank while of the boat, we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing to where we got some space. Um, should get plenty of cool things in here, so get this unboxed. All right, so we got this is our main light that goes on the top of the boat. It's our LED, LED, and this can be run with any like lithium ion battery. The same thing that you use to power your fish finder or anything like that. Especially if you have a built-in yak power system. This is the only real way to install it is if you do have the yak. Power. Okay, it's everything in that box. So this is the mount that they want you to install it to. Uh, I think you can put a track on these so it's even easier. We got a bunch of different hardware. This looks like the hardware for the GoPro if you wanted to add it to that. And then this is track hardware. So this is gonna be pretty easy. Then we got obviously the two poles here and then a flag. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm planning on installing it probably right around here probably move move these little eyelets up and then fit them right here. Um, that's probably gonna be the way I'm, I'm gonna do it since I got the port right here, just be an easy plug and play. Um, this should be super easy, so, so we'll get to that now. Okay guys, so this is a pretty simple install, all things considered. So I'm gonna be planning on installing it to the track mount here. Let's see what we gotta do. Seems very easy, just trying to get it right is the problem. So that looks like a base. Dielectric, oh, you get dielectric grease in here too. Got some track hardware. Okay, so this is our base. Oh, this is easy. Okay, so it gives you two. So you have two options on how, on how to install this. You can either drill it into the hull, like somewhere around here, or you can put it on the tracks. For sake of convenience and not drilling into my hull unless I absolutely have to, I'm gonna put them on the tracks, like I said. So it comes with both options. So it gives you the little, the little pills that fit on the track mount so they don't fall off and you can tighten down to the track. But you get multiple different screws here. So you get screws that thread for the tracks and you get sc uh, screws that you can drill into the hull. Um, I won't be using the hull ones, so we're gonna leave those over here. And then what you do is you pop this out. So you got, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but you got three holes on top and the bottom. The two middle ones, you're gonna put it through. So. The two middle ones go right through like that. So they're both sticking out. And then you thread our pills for the track mount, thread them on just a little bit. You don't want to thread them a little bit too much, just enough to where they're on there. So you can adjust it with a Phillips later. So now that that's in, I'm probably going to run it to where the, the cord side. So 
the cords are gonna stick out one side. Run it to where the cords are going towards the hull so you don't run into water issues potentially. I don't think that'll ever happen because there is a gasket and things on here, so I'm not too, too concerned, but just as a precaution, I'm gonna move this up a little bit so we get some space. And then I'm just gonna line it up. So make sure that goes in right. And then I'm gonna go grab a Phillips head screwdriver and then tighten these Phillips screws down. That'll tighten those pills into the track mount so it'll be nice and tight. And then that'll be it. This is a way easier install than I thought it would ever be. All right guys, so I, of course I can't find a Phillips head screwdriver in my own garage, but I got this, should work fine. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. So just tightening it down to where those pills get pushed up into the track. I can already feel it tightening down a little bit. You don't want to over tighten them because you are putting it into plastic. So probably just tighten both sides and then see where you're at. Thread them on nice and evenly. And I'm definitely, see this is already secure. Like look at this, already super secure. I'm just going to get this a little bit more so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. And then that one a little bit more. Tighten them evenly on both sides so you don't run into this problem. And then there we go. Nice and secure, not gonna move. And then just for example, and this, this you can leave on the kayak full time if you want to. So transporting, doing whatever, there is a gasket on it. So you can leave this on full time and never have to worry about it. Um, there, and even better too, you have a Yak power outlet on the side here. You can't see it, but on, on this other side, you have a Yak power port too. So if you needed to plug something into this, you can run it through here as opposed to having to unplug that, which is a really awesome feature on these. And I'm, I'm seeing this for the first time. Um, I didn't do too much research on the, on the improved version. Um, I knew about the old version, but I never really dug too deep into it. Okay guys. So one thing I noticed that I forgot to mention while I was making this video was that you need to make sure you have this base that comes with the kit. Um, it just slides right into these little these little tracks here, um, and that allows you to thread the base into the actual pole, so you don't have to run into that problem, and it'll keep it 100% secure, so you don't have to worry. Um, you can't move this side to side once it's threaded in because it's installed into the port, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's just one thing I forgot to show you guys while I was doing the install. Okay, so this is our light, just the light. I'm gonna just plug this thing in. Okay, so let's see. Got our Yak Power port. Okay, let's see. All right, so Yak Power unit is on, stern. And look at that, guys. That is sweet. It's bright too. I'm surprised how bright that is. That is really bright. Wow, that is very, very bright. All right, I'm gonna add some of these pole extensions and things on it just so you guys can see how it looks. And then, then, then we'll try the light out again. And then this flag just Velcros in. Okay guys, so this thing is fully installed, fully extended. Um, this thing is the perfect height. I may have to adjust a little bit of this flag just so it's a little bit easier to have on here. It is a little bit, it's sitting kind of weird on the, on the pole. So we may have to adjust that later. But this thing is really cool. Um, this thing is gonna be awesome. It's just so plug and play and user friendly with the Yak Power systems. Um, so I decided to go with the Yak Power unit. Just so, I feel like if I was just getting another flag, it would have just been a pain. So just to be able to plug that in super easily and not have to worry about it is a really nice feature. Um, and just so you guys can see how it looks like that. So this is pretty cool. Um, and like I said, in my state, it is necessary to have this installed. So I think this is gonna be something that you'll see on every video from now on. You're not gonna see it from my angle, but from Pete's uh, point of view, you are gonna see this a lot. Um, I may not run the flag every single time, but just having the light even just putting it on that bottom mount is gonna do perfectly fine. Um, this thing is super high quality. I would definitely recommend this for somebody looking for a flag that already has the Yak Power unit installed. Um, 
just spending a little bit extra money, I think is going to be worth it in the long run. And plus, this is, has better connections on it and everything too with that new and improved version. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, like I said, going to be a lot shorter um, for our build series, but I do have a few more things planned. Um, one more big one and a couple more small ones until the season kicks off. Um, so yeah, guys, see you in the next video.